Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson. Здравствуйте, ребята. Продолжаем нашу работу и работаем сегодня над темой поступления на работу. So, applying for a job. Today we are speaking about choosing a career. We are working with interviews and we are revising the words on the topic education and career. Let's start our work. At the previous lesson, we read dialogues, interviews when you apply for a job. We listened to the, the interviews and you tried to complete the form. Now, you are to imagine that you are applying for a part-time job as a shop assistant. Your task is to think about questions you can be asked. Make up possible questions and write them down in your copybook. Итак, представим, что вы пришли на собеседование для поступления на работу продавцом-консультантом. Ваша задача – продумать, какие вопросы вам могут задать и записать эти вопросы в свою тетрадь. Задайте пять-шесть вопросов. Now, when you are ready with your questions, what questions can you be asked? For example, have you got any previous experience? How many hours a day can you work? When are you available to Start your work. Are you going to have a full-time job sometime later? Of course, you can ask different questions. Ваши вопросы могут звучать по-другому, но суть должна быть в том, чтобы вы выяснили максимально информации о человеке, годится ли он на эту должность или нет. Now we are working with some words. Look, here is a number of sentences and some words missing in them. You open page 160 and we are working with the words motivated, private, activities, training, uniform, attend, rules, sit, strict and public. I hope you know all these words. Надеюсь, слова все мы знаем. So you stop the video and try to complete the sentences. Please, don't write in your books. You can write in your copy books just number and a word. For example, students must wear a school every day. Students must wear a school uniform every day. In your copybook you write one uniform. So, you are to do this exercise. I think one minute will be enough. Let's check. Students must wear a school uniform every day. It is important for everyone to follow the rules. This school is known for its discipline and strict teachers. Students are very motivated to do well at this school. Do you use a bicycle or the public transport system? 
He has to attend extra classes at the weekend. She goes to a very expensive private school abroad. When do you sit your exams? The students are encouraged to participate in extracurricular activities. At the acrobatic school, every morning we begin with physical training. If there were no mistakes, you are great. Now, let's have a look at the next exercise. Again, you have got sentences and there are gaps. Опять у нас предложения, в них пропущены слова. Experience, resign, freelance, applied, responsibility, shifts. You are to fill the gaps using these words. Again, you have one minute time. And in your copy books you write one and the word, two and the word. То же самое. Ставим видео на паузу и заполняем пропуски. В учебниках не пишем, работаем в тетради. Цифра, слово. Checking what you have got. Проверяем. Have you found a new job yet? No, but I have applied to several companies. I have a new part-time job at the car factory. How many shifts a week will you work? He does not like working for that company at all. You should tell him to... Resign and find a new job. Have you ever thought about working from home? Yes, I was thinking about being a freelance artist. Have you worked in the medical profession before? Oh yes, I have years of experience. Are you interested in managing a business? I don't know if I am ready for that much responsibility. Again, if you managed without mistakes, it's great. Working further. Let's have a look at the words in two columns. Your task is to match them to make collocations, to make phrases. Из двух колонок мы соединяем слова так, чтобы получили словосочетание. Again, one minute is yours to do this work. Stop the video and in your copybook you can write 1a, 2b, 3c and so on. Checking. Bank, clock, flight, Attendant, communication skills, managing director, naval officer, emergency services, previous employer, start date. If you had some mistakes, please correct them. Если что-то получилось не так, обязательно исправьте. The next exercise is to use these phrases in the sentences. Теперь мы эти словосочетания должны употребить в предложениях. Again, you stop the video and complete the sentences using the phrases we have just made. Stop the video and work. Well, let's check. She just got a job as a paramedic with the emergency services. 
Sarah has been promoted to managing director of the company. We, he wants to be a flight attendant because he enjoys traveling. What is the start date of your new job? I had to talk to the bank clerk about my saving account. I have excellent communication skills and can speak three languages. My brother is a naval officer on a battleship. He had a reference from her previous employer. If you manage without mistakes, it means you know the words well. One more task. Again, we have got a gap text and words given. Опять у нас текст с пропусками и даны слова. Skills – participate, profession, companies, apply, training, interview, attend, attended, responsibility, experience. Complete the gaps. The text with these words. Stop the video and do the task. Checking. Finishing school is a very busy, exciting time for people. Everyone wants to find a good job and begin working in their chosen profession. The first step is to find a suitable vacancy and apply for the position. If you are called for an interview, will be asked what skills you have and where you attended school. They might, may ask if you have any previous experience in that type of work. Many large business, businesses and companies will require their new employees to participate in a special training course because they are given the, before they are given the responsibilities of working on their own. So here were some explanations how you can get your first job after finishing school. Now your homework is to revise the words and you are writing a letter of advice to your friend who is going to apply for a job. You can use the information from exercise 4, page 160, to give him a piece of advice, what to do in what situation. Итак, ваше домашнее задание. Проработав упражнение 4 на страничке 160, вы должны дать другу, который собрался устроиться на работу, совет, что может быть и что ему следует в этой ситуации делать. You may be invited to an interview. When you come to the interview, try to tell all your positive features, to describe all your positive features, try to show all your skills and don't forget to name your previous experience. If you are suggested to attend training courses, don't refuse. It can be useful for your further profession, for your further career, and it can be a good experience for you, even if you don't get this, this position. Вот в, так, в таком ключе должны прозвучать ваши советы. So, it is your written work. Goodbye for now. Thank you for your attending.